Hello, guys and gals, animal friends, and spirit pals. Welcome to the Spirit Whisperer channel, channel. How's everybody doing? Good, I hope. It's Thursday, September 19th. It's about 10 o'clock here at night. Started this video once already and ran into some problems. So now I'm doing it again. So what is this video, you might ask? Well, it's going to be another tarot tickling video. So it's another uploaded taped video, not live. It's taped. And... Um, where we go a tarot tickling and I know how you guys like to tag along so I thought I'd tape it so you can watch okay and um, I know I'm kind of pushing it with this here shirt today but I knew I was going to be digging deep in the swamp and I don't know this shirt seemed appropriate so I went ahead and jumped the gun a little because we're going to be looking at some of those beautiful, fascinating, scum-sucking bottom dwellers. Yeah, that's right. All those little cuties, or at least a few of them. Now, uh, I was looking at this, you know, I've started this before, and I already pulled cards on one person, so I'm just going to leave those, and we'll get into them, okay? I'm not going to re-pull them, because already did it and then the video stopped working so but I think I'm gonna pull a couple more just to toss on there yes I will tickling the tarot with the spirit guides and a crystal or three were tickling up the tarot with me okay this first person we're reading on is a real wackadoo we're gonna call her bloomer loomer so bloomer loomer she's pretty wackadoo I don't know why she's suddenly in her face but she is my sense is not going to be there very long. I feel like, you know, she's striving for her 15 minutes, but I think she'll be lucky if she gets, you know, seven and a half. Um, I don't know. She's just like the latest bobble, the latest distraction, the latest sycophant, you know, that can kind of spew all over him, so to speak. Yeah. Okay, well, here's some fun and exciting cards that tend to be going along with my feelings and what I've heard, like that she's probably not going to be here a huge big time. First of all, I'm going to show you these two cards that came out, which are kind of talking about why she's even here in the first place, temporary as it may be, because she has an overflowing admiration and love for the Oompa Loompa. You know, it's creamy, juicy, and delicious for him. Like it's, also get this child card. Um, it's like, reminds me of daddy issues or looking for a daddy's love or a granddaddy's love in this case she's like in her 20s he's in his last minute 70s so it's quite a jump it's inter interesting in this card too with the kids the girl is younger and looking up all lovingly at the guy who's a little over, older giving her attention giving her a gift so it's kind of like starry eyes towards him, which just saying that means 
there's probably a screw or two loose up here. Sad, really, because I don't think she had much attention, so this is the way she thinks she's going to get it. Um, but when I look, so we're kind of looking at her energy between now and the end of the year. That's what I'm looking at tonight with these bottom feeders. Um, so the first thing about her energy and what's, you know, kind of what's in store, because, you know, as we talk here on the Z Channel, channel uh, what you put out in the universe comes back to you. It's called karma. It's a natural law of the universe. So, you know, I'm kind of looking at, well, you, they've been spending a lot of time spewing and bile and vile bile at that. And I'm just wondering how that's going to look when it comes back, right? When it comes back up. So, look like she's going to be sad and feeling lost. Maybe a little ashamed and embarrassed. So this is that Five of Cups, but it came upside down, which, you know, normally three are spilt, and you're sad and upset about that. But in this, even the two standing now are spilled because it's upside down. So looking like some loss and sadness are coming between now and the end of the year. Looks like she'll be hitting the road sooner than later. Um, she'll just be a wisp of memory. She won't even be a wisp as far as I go. But I guess in some minds it'd be, whatever happened to that weird girl? Oh, she's gone. There's nothing left but a little whiff or smell of her energy nothing more and you know she's sad she's feels lost and there she goes off you know sailing away sail away sail away sail away because she hitched her wagon to this old cranky creepy look at that he's got sores on his face even look and as you can see, what he really only cares about is money, 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 money. You know, he don't really have time for her. If he does, I don't know what he'd do with her anyway. You know, for all intents and purposes, he's a hundred. But, you know, he's too busy hanging on to the last bits of pennies to pay her no mind. So it's a really temporary, fleeting seven minutes of fame she's left standing on the shore going what happened where my knight in shining or Orma where my rescuer what happened to him he's gone so I pulled a couple of cards of this other deck about, you know, how's it going to look for her between now and the end of the year. There's two cards in this deck that say delete. So, you know, she's going to be deleted. And that one, the deleter, like that's him tossing her away right into the water. So again, I feel like she's not long for the, for the spotlight here. Yeah. She's you know, she's looking for like this you know in the sky kind of love I like that it says mom she's not really looking for mom but she's kind of looking for parental love Look. Oh. 
but this full ashtray you know like just kind of ends up being the butt of the situation in a way but there's a lot of other butts that she ends up jumping in with. You know, when you take out the trash, we're gonna be taking out the ash once this voting's over with. So that didn't look all that great. I don't know if I'd be looking forward to my karmic reward in this case. Would you? I don't know, don't tell me too fun. So let's look a little at somebody else, because I'm sick of her. Blech. Let's look at that big old weirdo uh, Comer. He's like a, he's in the Congress, he's in Kentucky. Blech. We have a wonderful governor here, Democratic governor, but we have some of the worst other representatives, like Mitch McConnell, this Comer dude I never even really heard of. Paul Rand, another fine piece of work. So let's look at, you know, how's his karma looking uh, as he goes from here to the end of the end of the year? Because he's hitched his wagon up to the Orange Menace as well. And is spewing all that baloney. So, cards. We're looking at Comer. I don't know his first name. I want to say Jane. What? Comer. I'm not sure. We don't care. Um, what looks like is coming in your future? Okay. Looks to me like there's some scrutiny on the way. I really don't know anything about him, but I'm pretty sure it's no great loss. Can I have like a little bit, just one more card for outcome, please? Okay, thank you. Thank you for responding. All right, uh, well. He likes to act like, you know, he's of the people, you know, baloney. Uh, and, you know, he's, you know, standing for the people. But that's not true. He's standing for people who have money. This Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, he's more focused on the pinnacle than he is on the farmers down here below him. See this farmer and the, the oxes and the fields. And Kentucky is a farm state, or it certainly used to be. But he don't, he's not looking there. He's looking at the money. That's what his focus really is. Another money-hungry monger. Some of his past is coming up into his present. So, particularly about money. There's some kind of money dealings. You know, like... All of a sudden, he's been a loudmouth and stuff, trying to get the spotlight on him, but I don't think it's going to work out in his favor because it ferrets out some, like, little hidden past um, discretions. Again, it seems to be crooked money stuff because it's got all these pinnacles. 
So, High Priestess too, with the Pentacles. There's like secrets that are coming out. You know, we're looking. So here's secrets being revealed between now and the end of the year, which pretty much string him up by his feet. It doesn't look that great. Um, and we get the old pregnant woman empress card. They show their face and bodies to him. So what this is saying to me is he also suffers the consequence of this whole anti-woman, anti-woman's rights because he's hitched his wagon to that and it don't go well. Women don't want to be told what to do with their bodies by some jerk-faced man or anybody, really, as far as that goes. So he's going to be facing, right, face-to-face -face with that because they're coming in to power, this feminine energy. He begins to feel outnumbered, wounded. It's harder and harder to defend his position and his partnership. And he might be looking at moving on. This doesn't sound great. It feels like, um, I don't think he's up for election this time. I don't know how to look. But um, I don't know. This might be his last time in office. These guys are underestimating what happens when you just defend women over and over and over and take their rights away. They're going to be pretty surprised come the end of the year. All righty. Don't look great to be him or her. Let's look at Clarence Thomas that horrible piece of work. I wonder what his energy looks like between now and the end of the year. Now I felt like more than once it's possible he hightails it. Like sooner than later. Like goes. I don't know. It even feels like it could be before the new administration is you know, put in. I'm wondering. I'd like that, but, you know, maybe that's my own prejudice. Yeah. So I'm looking at his um, energy. How, how his karmic return might look for him. Mm-hmm. Guess what always comes up whenever you pull cards on him? A salacious, greedy woman. Every time. Hmm. One, let's do a couple more here. Oh. Yeah. There she is twice in this reading. You can't really, you know, he tries to distance himself as if his wife is one thing and he's another, but no. Nope. They are joined at the hip. And it's not going to fare well. I see all that. You're kind of repeating yourself. You want to give me one more card or are you done? Because I can probably... Yeah. All right.
you know, he thinks that he can deceive and because on the bottom of this, I got the magician. So he thinks he can use tricks and deception and whatever to keep his nefarious activities undercover. And that just even means bribes and taking money to vote a certain way. All that stuff, which I think he's done more than we might even know. So between now and the end of the year, there's even more secrets being revealed. More truth coming to the surface. The moon shining bright, bringing light to the dark corners of his life. His relate this here's the star, but in this case, it's talking to me about the United States. Um, and particularly the women in the United States. Uh, he's coming face to face with them, American women. They're not feeling particularly loving of him. As a matter of fact, they'd like for him to hit the road, Jack. So long, farewell. Get the heck away from us. That's their thoughts there. Again, these guys are miscalculating. <laughs> of why you might not want to say nasty things about your mother and sister and girlfriend and grandmother and all that. And I don't know that it's going to pay off as well as you think. So the other things, you know, we have that moon and there's going to be some more stuff revealed. For one thing, here's that two of cups. He and his wife are joined at the hip. What she does, he's a part of. They're not separate. They're both. Yeah, she spent the money, wrote the check or whatever, but he was fully behind it. Uh, they work as one, not two. She's, so Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Wasteful, loves that money, wants to be the trophy wife, so to speak. They're wild, wasteful, like, um, in some cases, not even things people need, but they just will take any favors, all the favors. And she's big on it too. Honey, look, we can get this trip if you do this, if you vote on like this. They're both very tied together with this. And more of her activity. There's going to be more um, focus on her. How many times have I tried to put that cups down? What the heck? Um, oh, for God. Yeah, there we go. Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. There's going to be more focus on her. Salacious, greedy, stingy. She thinks she's better than everybody. Attitude and activities. And then the final outcome of him between now and the end of the year is the tower. Downfall. Disaster. Not great fun. The tower and getting out of here in the dark of night to avoid the moonlight shining on us. So this, and what those words that just came out of my mouth make me think there is a possibility they're going to get the heck out of Dodge sooner than later. It's like they see the writing on the wall. 
and we still might be arguing and fighting about the vote or something. Hopefully not, but maybe. But they still can see the truth and see that time is running out. So don't sound great for him. Okay, got a few more minutes. Let's look at Roberts. That old piece of work. How's the energy going for him? Now, Justice Roberts. Another one. It's putting all, these guys are all putting their eggs in one basket. But of course, the basket holder's feeble and crippled. And so he's going to end up falling and smashing the basket, and all the eggs are smushed. And there went their big basket of eggs. Ends up nothing. Um, and I'm happy. That's what you get when you just throw everything into the mix. You know, now they're desperate. If he doesn't win, oops. And I love all these guys, the women mysteriously show up every single time because they, they messed with the wrong people. <laughs> they picked and bullied the wrong people. Okay. Here's his cards. He's kind of got that same... Um, Well, I'm going to use that bottom one, too, because it's right along the, the same thing. He's kind of got that same weird mindset that they think they can get away with everything. They've been doing it. So here he is, the Hierophant, the head of the Supreme Court. And they can get their way by manipulation. Um, so, you know, he's like, I can fix this. We can manipulate it. However, he's directly responsible for attacking the ladies, basically making them feel imprisoned, taking their rights away, and, you know, being smug about it. Look at this guy there. You know, a lot of times in this card, this Eight of uh, Swords, it's, it's like a prison that you've made yourself. And this one... There's a man building it. And she's tied up and kind of doesn't have, you know, an agency in it or a choice in it or a voice in it. And they know where it came from. Yeah, Trump put them in, but then they did it. So, you know, it's all a big old thing. It's not easily forgotten. Here we got the Eight of Cups. Two eights. In a row. Um, and look at this. There's the woman again. She's not, all, not ever in this card. This is particularly for this one. This is called um, After Tarot. So, look. There goes the guy in the orange coat going off into the sunset. And getting away from these women who, you know, have suffered all this loss and they're not taking it easy. So I hope he's not expecting it. He's also kind of losing favor with other members in the court. Not all of them, but some like, hey, look, we're taking sides. And the cheese is feeling more alone. So what has he got to look forward to between now and the end of the year? The devil. The, um, the results 
of being in and supporting and promoting a cult and a cult leader and the devil and the antichrist <laughs> I'm being a little bit over the top but that's what he has looked forward to oh and then here's the other I guess we're just going to do the bottom of the deck that and some justice for the justice You know, again, kind of seeing the writing on the wall. Somebody's coming in to fix stuff and already seeing it before the the, uh, the years ended and maybe beginning to feel like, uh-oh, I might be being left on the outside. I might end up shivering, cold, um, sorry about you know, ending up a penniless bomb. Not literally, but not in good states. God, just keep getting cards. I'm sorry, they just keep flipping up the next one on the bottom. But look at this Knight of Swords. Truth, justice, and the American way coming for you, buddy. It's interesting, considering he's supposed to represent that but that's what's coming after him very interesting none of those guys look like I don't like any of their cards and I don't want them let's do one more for a sayonara off let's look at you know the night we looked at different states and how they might how they're feeling about voting let's just do a little um, check in with how Americans, America in general, how they're looking at voting. You know, like, let's just look at the whole country. Is there a general direction, or what is it? Is it still a ton of undecided? Is it neck and neck? What's it look like as far as Americans and their vote, their upcoming vote. How are they feeling like? Like, for example, I am absolutely sure who I'm voting for, right? I know, there's no changing. Oh, now I keep getting goosebumps. I'm getting the goose bubbles throughout these readings, but I like it. That usually always means spirits right here, and we're right on. If I get the old goose flesh and the bubbles up my back. Okay, well, I'm going to stop. Yeah. I know sometimes the cards just keep going and going and the story doesn't want to end. So just every, each new card is like, oh, there's more. So this is what we're looking like right now with the Americans and the way their relationship with the vote. Everybody's looking at it personally. You might talk about it with your friends, but everybody's considering it, you know, one at a time. It's like a personal decision that you make by yourself. And even when you cast it, you do it, you know, alone by yourself. It's not a big audience. You get to vote your feelings and nobody knows about it so the other thing about this card is people are 
thinking about their vote and they're stopping the noise to just consider it. So, you know, they're taking it seriously. That's another way of saying that. Then you get the Two of Swords. There's still some weirdos deciding. However, women on both sides are favoring blue. They're seeing blue. Look at this blue veil over her eyes. and She's got blue eyes and blue jewels. But this would be like, you can vote on this side or this side, but women in particular, that doesn't mean it's all women. There's men too, but the cards keep harping on women <laughs> in a good way. But they're seeing it through blue eyes. Blue, blue, blue. Women on both sides are thinking hard about voting blue. Normally, you know, you can't see through the veil in this Two of Swords. Their eyes are closed and completely darkened and kind of don't have a control over the choice. No, this, they've got their eyes wide open and they're seeing blue. Love it. People are thinking about voting not only for America but for the world. We, they really realize we need a leader who looks out for something beside themselves. And of course it's a woman in the middle of this card. But I think people are thinking about a bigger picture too. And kind of our standing and not not really liking they like the world to like us again, kind of. So they think they're thinking in terms of that as well. We get this over and over. The Ace of Swords. Truth, justice, and the American way. Beautiful blue sword. Voting for justice. Voting for truth. Kamala's the one that stands for that. So, we're leaning towards that, guys. Bringing judgment. They want to... We're thinking about... Using our votes to put the end of one thing and the beginning of another. You know, like killing this one energy so that we can resurrect this more healing, healthy energy. So, another thing, another way to talk about this judgment card is, is in terms of voting is kind of using your vote to make a statement. And you're voting for the health, first aid. You, you, you're wanting to fix stuff, hoping to fix stuff. And people are thinking about taking this other side down, like creating a tower moment for the other side. So that kind of makes me feel like there's, you know, we're talking about numbers again. Um, numbers coming out that it, you know, it makes a difference. It, it just knocks the other ones out of the, out of the park. So that's pretty interesting. Now, you know, we're still, what, 50 day or 40 something days away. But I like that energy already. It's like going along with the way it feels when you watch Kamala at a rally or something. These cards seem to be reflecting that sort of turn of the tides, uh, more people focusing in, stopping the noise, uh, taking a few minutes to pay attention you know, and to consider uh, what their vote means and um, all that. And 
there was a big hint in that reading about women being wide awake and ready to take action use their vote you know swords communication voice um, use your voice use your vote to make a difference so that all sounds good and I'm very happy about it hope you guys are too you know it's what I'm here for to make us all happy uh, and feel better about stuff because you know we know we know in the end the universe wins. Love wins. God wins. I'm, I'm glad I'm on that team. Okay, well, I'm going to shut up now. And I'm going to go to bed. How about you? Because now it's almost 11 o'clock. So, I'll see you guys again real soon. I love you. I love you, Bush on the back. And, if you're here, a hug around the neck. Bye-bye. Till next time.